Kaboom! All right, guys, I just figured out how to add in a VDB and Octane Blender. And this example right here is not the best, but I'm, I'm getting it to work. It's work in progress. I'm learning. I'm putting this video out there. So if you guys can find a better way to make this look better, that you guys will share that in the comments so we can also work together on this thing, right? Again, Blender Octane community. That's that, you know, on YouTube. So this is what the results that I got. This, I was going to wait and do a video later after I've gotten it down. I'm, I'm tired of waiting. Just put the thing out, right? So this is the results from a free DVD or free VBD. Um, I think it was like the free ones from open VDB or M or whatever. I forgot exactly where I think it was an open D BDB one that I got here. And um, now this is the, the, the results that they showed in the preview. Now I noticed my detail does not look as detailed as this fire does, but I'm in the ballpark. I'm getting the actual VDB working, but now we need to fine tune it and I'm going to figure that out. But I just want to release this, how to get it set up and how to get something going. Right? So that's our ultimate result. I want to match that one right so if we jump in the blender here and should i go to a new file i don't really have time to but it's really easy if you guys don't know all right fresh start here we go so i'm going to import my vdb and here's my guy i got him in here for reference and for scale right so these things come in pretty massive and then what you'll do is just go uh blah, 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 shift a and where is it volume import open vdb Go to my folder where I selected it and that's not the right folder. That's the right folder. Click on that import sequence. And then when it imports, everything goes black. You're like, okay, that didn't work. It actually worked, but this thing is massive. Like it's massive. Look at this. Let me go ahead and kill the render of so render. This thing is massive. Like we've got viewport clipping and everything. If you know how to fix your viewport clippings, come over here to view and viewport clipping put this is add like an extra couple zeros on there right boom there it is okay it's huge it's massive so what we do from here is if we click on our vdb and then you can see i do have it selected here there it is right and i come over here these are the channels that it contains and then here is the the file if this is scroll down open vdb files and i check on sequence because this is a sequence how many frames it's a 119 frames or it's 120 frames right and it's 119 frames 1119 put in the frames there it starts on frame one okay now also what we got going on here if we look keep scrolling down we can see our box we got the uh the the viewport displays i just kept all this stuff stock okay i didn't change any of this thing here slice don't know what it is don't use it i'm not using it at the moment but one thing i wanted to check was right here impact import scale right now it's in meters so this thing is huge right i could bring this down to whatever you want like you got das studio units miles feet inches right i'm just gonna do Decimal centimeters for a moment. And then if you check this box, auto apply import scale to transform in Blender. Boom. All righty. Now it just brought it down to something smaller, right? Now if I go ahead and zoom in here, and even if we find our guy, you can see him. There he is. This is a little bit more kind of like in close to real world spec. Like if this thing was going to be explosion, it's going to be huge, right? So I can also GZ, I can move this up and stuff right here, but this is like an air explosion, like some type of jet blows up or something in the air. So it's quite big. And there's my guy again, working in real world scale is extremely important in octane. Any, any render, you should always work to real world scale. Now that we got that in here, if we go ahead and fire up the render, and the first thing we're going to come to is this nothing right now i do have an hdri in the scene let me go ahead and crank that up by one it's just my i'm hiding it from the background like if i come over here and then there it is my right okay so there it is like but we don't see nothing like it's nothing right so i'm going to click on it we need to add a material on to click on it add new material and i just clicked on it and just had new material and it knows that it's a vdb so it automatically set us up with a value medium node okay cool right off the back we can play with this one thing you want to do is turn your scattering color up light lighten it up boom there it is right so that obviously you can see we can control that so there's our our smoke sim at the moment right boom that looks cool right we can control the density zero density one density 500 density back to 100 density okay so there's our density and then i've noticed this this volume step right here if i open this up this volume step percentage 
like if I go to zero, it's like way more detailed, but it's also taking a lot more time to render. Even in the viewport, it's like it's taking a long time to render. So I set this back to 100. Boom. Now vice versa, if we go to 1000, right? Okay. So that may help you also in the future. Uh, let me go ahead and set that back to default for now. And I'm quite sure it's the same thing with the shadows. If we go like 1000, um, zero. It seems like 100 is the most on that. Okay, so I don't know what I'm talking about on that. But anyways, how do we get the fire? Like, how do we get the channels? And this is the where I'm struggling, like, to, to get it to really look good. So if we come into emission, here is our emission. And I know we want emission, right? So if we come in here and I'm going to add in, I try to do with the black body, but the black body for some reason is not working correctly. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll try it one more time with you guys. Black body, but we still don't really see anything happening, right? Matter of fact, let me just not do the black body for me. Let me do what I know it works. I'm going to go with the texture emission. See, the texture emission works. Boom, there it is. And then transparent emission. I'm not sure if I should have this checked or not. I'm not seeing a different, but we'll leave it since it's stock. Okay, so from here, then I add in that glossy, that Gaussian spectrum node, right? Right there, Gaussian spectrum node, or however I pronounce that. Plug that into the texture, and boom, everything is like super hot and super blown out, right? So I'm just going to take this down to maybe like one. A value of one okay there we go we can kind of read that but we want to add some color in there to get some fire color right so that's where i come down here to the emission ramp and i add this in boom and then everything goes like kind of like gone right but hang on let's see if we can bring that back boom there we go so i'm not sure if these need to be flipped or not so i'm going to flip it but then if i crunch it like it doesn't really seem like it's really crunching the values right like see it just doesn't really seem like it's doing anything but we take this white and let's add a red in there okay now we got some color going in there and let's say add another one in here and add like an orange color right and then we got that and we can kind of crunch crunch those and then let's even add like another one and maybe add like more of a i don't know you should really be looking at some fire references if you're going to be doing this right let's add some more yellow like that right and kind of bring that down like that so again, you can play with these. Like I noticed if the orange is first, we see the orange first, vice versa. If I slide the, the yellow, there's the yellow first, right? So yeah, I don't know. But anyways, I know let's add that in there, right? So we got kind of got like this going here. And then if again, if I try to clamp it, just not getting the results that I was originally seeing in another video that I was watching which was a video by uh the grandmaster leo and it was very old it's like four years old so like setup is not even the same like you couldn't even import vdbs in that video that he was I, he was showing this is where i kind of get lost but now check it out if i go back over here to our vdb section and we continue to scroll down we have uh octane volume properties and we scroll down here we see we've got border inside some other stuff i didn't mess with any of this but what i noticed was here was these these two gap three gaps here uh absorption grid emission grid and scattering uh, grid. I think this is where we need to put in those values, like the channels to tell it, hey, this is a density channel, this is a flame channel, and this is the temperature, right? This is where I think this goes. Because check it out, if I go to emission and I say, I want this to be the temperature, right? We get some totally different reaction stuff going on here. Like it, now I can get some control with this right here. But then I also notice our colors got kind of weird and like, like, I don't know, like, that looks more like fire, right? Okay. But then if I keep going, let's create a different frame here. And if I go back to the beginning, the beginning, it should be, it should be all fire right now because it's an explosion, right? So that's why I feel like this is not right because it should be a ball of fire right now, like, bam, like that. <laughs> So, okay, let's try something else in this socket. Let's try density. Density clearly doesn't look like that's right. All right, let's turn that off. And then let's try temperature. Or did I already try temperature? I think I already tried temperature. Let's try flames. Okay, that looks better. Now we know it's fire. But again, let's see if I can get these... I don't know. I'm playing. I'm I'm nitpicking at it right now. Stuff that I shouldn't be worrying about. Um, okay, now it looks like it's, we got a fireball. Let's come to 70, frame 70. 
now the fire okay boom now the fire is dissipating right the fire is dissipating and we've got you know some smoke now that looks like it's properly working you keep going down there boom okay good that looks like it's properly working so from there like i still want to use like these other ones so we've got scattering grid and we've got absorption and then we do also have again what other channel we have density and temperature and flames so i figure if can we plug this into density into this one and i really don't see a difference happening on there yeah i don't really see a, a, a i'll leave it in there and then we got scattering here which is plug density into that too and let's just kind of scroll through some of these frames but i mean that looks a little bit better huh i think so i don't know if this is correct but i know a lot of things with 3d if it looks good hell with it there's many ways there, you know there's so many workflows around this stuff so like i'm like hey it looks good it's not looking exactly like the the example but it's working so this is a start this is somewhere where we can start from as far as like fine tuning this to get you know this to get the the fire colors right we need to do some work um so i don't know and then again you can come up here to one and you can take this to zero obviously so boom it should go black good and then if we go to 100 it's just going to be too crazy bright right it's totally blown out 0.5 so like i guess now you really got to just kind of fine tune your values between the brightness of this then with the density of the smoke also so like i think that's a 10 right maybe even go to i don't know 50 if i wouldn't be that right 50 and then you can play with this step value right so if we want it to be a little bit more detailed i guess we can go to 50 and that's a little bit more detailed or i prefer it i think i think 150 it looks to make it a little bit more like that i don't know but um let me go down to my world setting and let's kind of just bring that down half a little bit bring that world setting down a little bit so we can see the more of the explosion i'm gonna go back to what i had before and plug this back in here so i can just see just the fire like that looks good to me the only thing that i'm not seeing if i compare that to the results in the results here to me it seems like the fire has way more detail like we're missing all that crinkliness in the fire and then i also noticed the fire is a lot more black right the fire is a lot more black maybe the density is not as much so I probably could lower the fire, I mean, the density on the, the clouds. But still, to me, the fire does not look like we're not getting the details in the fire. And that's where I'm asking for your guys' help. So like, okay, we know the scattering here is probably too bright. So we can probably bring that down a little bit more like that. Let me change my background color again. I don't really like it's too dark. So I'm trying to figure out why I'm something more neutral. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Well, they actually, that actually kind of brings up some of the detail in that smoke right off the bat, right? So if I go back to here. Okay, yeah, that's actually looking a lot better. That actually, okay, I just learned something else right now. So bringing that, that scattering color down is really helping you to bring the detail in the fire out. Yeah, that made a tremendous difference. Okay, boom. So there it is. Um, let me play with this one. I didn't even play with this one. So this is set to 0.5. What is this? Okay, there it is again. We can probably play with that a little bit more too. But I think that looked good where it was at. I'm going to go ahead and reset that back to where it was at. Me from the future. Why? As soon as I had finished this video, I had tweeted something again. I went back to the scattering where we were playing with the value here, where we we're playing with this value, these black and white values between these, right? What I just realized was, check this out. Let me set this back to default. And let me set this back to default. If we add in, look, there's a scattering ramp socket right here. If we plug in this, or matter of fact, if you just click on it, we go to scattering ramp, boom, it adds another ramp in here. And this ramp we can use to control and clamp those values between here. So again, we have black. We don't want all black. We go ahead and open that up a little bit to white maybe. And then this one, we can change to black. Let's change it back, right? Or hang on let's go ahead and, and uh, start clamping the values if i can click on this thing here i'm so excited hang on let me flip it what nope no 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 that's not working what's going on here i just did it like it was totally working maybe i need to change this back to like a lighter cutter okay let's change that to there and then if i come back here and change this back to default 
now if I come here and start clamping this, okay, maybe I need to change this color. Okay, there we go. If I lighten this up a little bit, or maybe I want to make this, yeah, I probably want to make this a little bit lighter. And then maybe if I want to make this a little bit darker, is that making a difference? I don't know. I can't see a difference. Maybe we should turn this back to black, a little a darker. But either or, yeah, it is making a difference. Like, I can clamp this a little bit. Like, see here? Right? I mean, it is, it's making a difference. So, I just wanted to throw that in there. FYI, also add in a ramp right here on your scattering scattering ramp and then this just gives us another option to start playing with like i guess the din the density we're kind of controlling the density a little bit so i just saw this while i was getting ready to render out a thumbnail right and i was like let me try this okay so back to the video okay so that at the moment guys is how you can bring in a vdb like explosion i know this is something that a lot of people were asking about in my community in my blender octa community i am working on building like these flashcard templates to help us from cycles so for example this is a cycles glass material right so how do we make something like this in octane or how do we set this up and if we come over here the next tab will basically show you this is just straight default render settings, nothing tweaked, right? So I already know some people are going to be like, hey, why does that glass look different than this glass? Because this is octane glass. That's all I got to say, right? But this is the node setup that you would need to achieve if you wanted to make glass in octane. So if you're coming from cycles and you know how to do it in cycles, this is the basic. This is what I Googled and got a, a default setup for glass. This is what I got. I know you can make more advanced glass uh, in both render engine, but this is just basic tempo. Temp temp temple temple template right it's just a basic template to get you started then you can tweak and get in more advanced right so that's my 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 glass and then we've got like metal okay basic metal metallic metal right here it is in cycles and then boom here it is in octane here is the node setup that you need to do to get it to look like this right so i asked my community members too what other stuff we we did subsurface scattering right here's subsurface scattering where you get the two colors and things like that and then again, here it is, the same setup in Octane. And then you can clearly see the differences between the two renders. Again, this is not for comparison. This is just to show you how to set up these node setups, right? This is not a versus versus, okay? Well, I know people are going to start doing that, but whatever. But anyways, I asked some of the members of my community, what else do they like to see? And a lot of them said fire and smoke. So I was like, actually, that is a great recommendation. So if you guys are interested in joining the community, I do have a seven-day free trial. Links down below. Take a look at it. I mean, we're extremely active in here. Look at at the moment. We've got five people. We've got, I mean, come on, guys. We we, we love the cause. We're actually doing our, our monthly challenge, our first monthly challenge of January, which we're going to make a mug. And we're using this great little tutorial because he shows us how to make a mug really quickly. But back on subject, here it is. So me testing out what I need to do to make a conversion from cycles, uh, VDB fire explosions to Octane's VDB fire explosion. If you guys know better ways or ways I can improve this, please comment down below because I'm, I need help or jump into my discord, reach out to me there or just join the community and reach out there to either or I need some help. I'm asking you guys because I make videos for you guys. I'm out. Patrick LeVar, catch you in the next one. Peace.